Well, guys, we're going to be talking about Anheuser-Busch and Bud Light here in this video, guys. The controversy surrounding Bud Light, Anheuser-Busch, and Dylan Mulvaney will not go away. Sales are just completely down. People are not buying Bud Light. Actually, at the Red Sox game the other day, guess what? Nobody was in line to actually buy Bud Light. Sports fans have rejected it. People that drank Bud Light forever, they are not buying Bud Light. This company's in serious, serious trouble, folks. And by the way, Anheuser-Busch is actually trying to do damage control. They're trying to distance themselves from Dylan Mulvaney. They're actually saying, hey, what nuts that did it? Well, does anybody actually believe that? Is anybody actually falling for the Dylan Mulvaney can wasn't our, our idea? Nobody's buying that. Nobody is buying that, guys. And now we got some new news here. It's getting worse for Anheuser-Busch. We already know that conservatives are actually boycotting Anheuser-Busch. That doesn't seem to be stopping. But also, guys, even the LGBT community now is boycotting Anheuser-Busch. Look at this, guys. Chicago gay bars stop selling Bud Light. Other Anheuser-Busch beers have the brand bats down to quote unquote anti-trans critics. This is on a block club Chicago right here. I said it before, guys, if Anheuser-Busch actually came out and apologized, they would actually really, really upset the trans community. But however, Anheuser-Busch has not apologized, so therefore... You know, the core customers of Anheuser-Busch, they're still not going to buy it. So even if Anheuser-Busch actually came out with an apology, guess what? They're going to please nobody. I mean, this company is in full-blown panic mode now, folks. So instead of actually trying to say that, hey, we're sorry, they're not going to do that. They're actually saying, hey, we had nothing to do with Dylan Mulvaney. This is what they're doing, guys. But. Let's go ahead and read some of this, guys. A slew of Chicago gay bars have stopped selling Anheuser-Busch InBev products after the beer giant distanced itself from transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney's Bud Light marketing campaign amid, quote, anti-trans backlash. Keep in mind who, who this article is from, okay? Uh, Two Bears Tavern Group, which owns Four gay bars in Uptown to Rogers Park was the first to drop Anheuser-Busch InBev posting on Instagram Thursday that its abandonment of Mulvaney amid controversy, quote, shows how little Anheuser-Busch cares about the LGBTQIA plus community and in particular transgender people who have been under unrelenting attack in this country. We know that's a lie. Transgender people are not being under attack in this country. I mean, it's just not happening. You know, they, they do the same thing, man, when they talk about um, police are out there killing black people. The stats don't back that up whatsoever. Uh, Sidetrack, a 41 year old gay bar founded by LGBT rights pioneers Art Johnston and Jose Pepe Pena later made the same announcement. Quote. We must also hold brands accountable if they take active steps against LGBTQ plus equality, visibility and safety. Sidetrack posted. You know what? There was no reason at all for Anheuser-Busch Bud Light to actually get involved in any of this stuff. Just sell beers. The things that was actually working for Anheuser-Busch, it was working for a long time. Real men of genius. Going out there, you know, being patriotic as well. Those commercials worked. But all of a sudden, you had to get woke. You had to get with the woke times now, and now you're suffering. Because now the people that you were actually trying to pander to, guess what? They don't even want your beer now. Anheuser-Busch may be the most despised company out there in America right now. And there's a... um. Quite a bit of a a lone statement here. Let's read this. 
This is from uh, Two Beers Tavern Group. In view of Anheuser-Busch's InBev abandonment of its support of transgender activist Dylan Mulvaney, the subsequent reprehensible and divisive comments by CEO, and we'll get to his comments, okay? And Anheuser-Busch putting on involuntary leave at least two marketing, ex- marketing executives involved in the marketing campaign that celebrated Mulvaney's transgender journey, Two Bears Tavern Group is discontinuing all Anheuser-Busch InBev products, including Bush Light, Bud Light, and Goose Island 312. Anheuser-Busch's decision to drop his support of Mulvaney in response to ignorant and hateful objections by some of his uh, customers shows how little Anheuser-Busch cares about the LGBTQIA plus community and in particular transgender people who have been under unrelenting attack in this country. His CEO statement in which he all but erased trans, transgender people in favor of anti-trans vitriol was cruel and hurtful. CEO uh, Brendan Whitworth's excuse that Anheuser-Busch, quote, never intended to be uh, part of a discussion that um, that divides people was tantamount to saying that the rights and safety of transgender people are topics worthy of debate. They are not. You cannot claim to support the LGBTQIA plus community if you don't support the T, talking about the trans. And saying that the rights and safety of transgender people are controversial says loud and clearly, you don't support us. Whitworth went on to say he is, quote, responsible for ensuring every customer feels proud of the beer. A.B. Um, Bruce. But we certainly do not feel proud of a beer or a company that chooses hate over acceptance and diversity. Since Anheuser-Busch does not support us, we will not support it. We gave Anheuser-Busch some time to revisit its position and hoping it would realize it acted in, in haste. It did not. Instead, it went further in the wrong direction, apparently seeking to punish the people who came up with the plan to recognize Mulvaney in the first place by placing several of them on leave. That speaks volumes as to how far A.B. would go to uh, placate those in this country who sow hate and division. Like Mr. Whitworth, we have. Um, had been uh, taught the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. However, it seems these words were lost to Mr. Whitworth and Anheuser-Busch. For true freedom, hard work, and respect would mean honoring Ms. Mulvaney's uh, journey and the entire LGBTQIA plus community in its fight for the same human rights as those enjoyed by the people to whom Anheuser-Busch apparently prefers to market and sell its products. Yeah. These people, these companies, man, they're upset. They are really, really upset that Anheuser-Busch tried to do damage control and tried to, um, I guess you could say they tried to apologize to their base without apologizing. Yeah, that's what they did. And guess what? The base still does not want to buy the beer. And in doing that and in, and in saying that, guess what? The alphabet community, the LGBT community, doesn't want your beer either. Congratulations, Anheuser Bush. You played yourself. You played yourself. Now, this is um with Anheuser Bush's um CEO, Michael Um Doric Doricus, if I'm pronouncing it correct, um addressed the controversy during a earnings call with investors Thursday and distanced the brand from Mulvaney. According to Yahoo Finance, quote, we need to clarify the facts that this was one can, one influencer, one post and not a campaign. The CEO also posted a statement in April saying the brand, quote, never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. And we all know that um, it was definitely damage control because um, Anheuser-Busch realizes they that they have alienated their base. They're really trying to distance themselves from Dylan Mulvaney. But guess what? 
everybody is going away from Anheuser-Busch. Everybody. Let this be a lesson to the companies out there that want to get woke. You know what? Maybe this is actually the straw that actually breaks the camel's back when it comes to uh, companies getting woke. Maybe now they're going to say, you know what? We can't get woke anymore. Now, when it comes to Miller and Coors, they've done some woke stuff, too. I don't believe that they're going to be doing that in the future because they probably have seen what has happened now to Anheuser-Busch. I believe the boycott needs to continue because a message must be sent. Don't alienate your base. These is these um, executives, I believe, technically they're fired. Let's be clear. And obviously on this company here, they're triggered by that. They don't want these um, executives, these marketing executives to lose their job. And essentially, guys, that's what happened. I mean. Why else would Anheuser-Busch actually put. Those marketing executives on leave. If they didn't do anything wrong. Anheuser-Busch is freaking out. And we're here for it, man. We're going to continue to update you guys. If more stuff actually um, does come down the pipe. It's going to be a long, long 2023. I can't wait for the next uh, earnings call for Anheuser-Busch. I think it's going to be in the gutter. I really do. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.